Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Marx, also known as PHCBR, and the reason why we're making this video is to give a clear explanation of how to use the Canvas business model. Right? I have received several requests from people from all over the world to create a simple way of putting down all the ideas into nine building blocks. And this is the fourth series of videos on how to create a KeyCast business model canvas. So follow me, take a closer look to what I'm going to show you right now, because I believe it might be of some value to you guys. Chatan, as you can see over here, we have already a KeyCast business ready for action. If this is the first time you're watching this video, I want to explain you very shortly what are the nine building blocks composed of. And first, you have customer segments. You gotta identify who your customers are. Without this, it's very confusing to set up a business. Once you have this figured out, you must understand what are the value proposition. Which value are you going to provide to your customer? Why should your customer buy with you and not with your competition? And as you can see here, we have already all this set up. The third building block is channels. Through which channels are you going to communicate your message? And here, as you can see, we have all set it up. And guys, this is for a restaurant of Japanese food industry, okay? So let's say you want to create a, a website, uh, a hotel, anything. The formula is the same. The nine building blocks are the same. And right after you have the customer relationship. What is the relationship I have to create with my customer in order for him to come back? Simply offering value, it's not enough. You must create a relationship in order for him to come back and always be happy purchasing your service, your product. Once you have this cleared up, how are you going to make money? Revenue streams, the fifth building block. Right? You figure it out here, has a restaurant, how you make money. And in our case of our restaurant, we make money through a restaurant, through Japanese food, selling drinks, telephone delivery, and website delivery. Take in consideration that every way that you can monetize your business, it's welcome. Once you have figured this out, you figure out how you're going to be treating your customer, who your customer are, what values you're going to provide, and how you're going to keep a relationship with them. Okay? Any questions? So let's move further. The sixth building block is key resources. Key resources are basically the assets that your corporation needs in order to do what you do best. And as a restaurant, we need the food, the drinks distributor, we need the employees, we need sushi man, maintenance, and our brand. So once you get that clear, you're ready to move on to the seven building block, which is key activities. And this comes down to what do you do on a daily basis in order to be successful with your business. And there you can see you must have the cleaning, the food preparation, the marketing, sales, and finance and customer relationship. To get this clear, guys, looks very simple, right? But once you get to work, you will see that more things will come up and you can always be filling in. That's why I leave some space, as you guys can see, there is always some space in between blocks because this is, this is a constant work in progress. Your business will never be 100% perfect. It should be always work in progress because the market changes, the taste of the people change, so you must be aware of that. And in the first three videos that we created, we talk about the nine building blocks, we talk about how to fill in the customer segmentation, value proposition, channels, you learn how to fill in the customer relationship, revenue streams, and key resource. And in the last video, we're talking about the key activities, which I just mentioned before, the key partners, which are very important for some businesses. Who do you partner with in order to be successful? In our case, that we are a Japanese restaurant, we, we need a web designer to build a website. We need a food distributor that's going to deliver us the food and the goods. Credit card companies, very important. But again, if you can think of anything else to come up with that's important to partner up, please fill in and be happy, guys, because this is your business. This is just an example to make your life easier and show you how simple it is to actually set a business from the ground up. For the last, you have cost structure. This comes down to all cost that is generated by all these eight blocks in one structure. So mainly there are fixed costs and variable costs. 
you can put a huge list of costs to show your employee like hey I have a lot of costs compared to the revenue streams that I create so how can I create more money and reduce the cost this is a great way guys to not only get going on an idea but it is a, a great way to get in communication improve the communication of your internal business right you talk to your customers and explain them guys this is what we do what we do this is who we want to share our experience and then when it comes down to your employees most of most of the entrepreneurs that I have spoken with have a hard time training their employees simply they invest like thousands of dollars in creating setting up a business but they don't want to spend let's say five hundred to thousand dollars in order to coach them train them but with this business model over here everything becomes much simpler and the employee can see that they are an asset for the company that they are as part of the company has the owner has the customer so I'm telling you this because I'm in Brazil right now and in this market that I am I see a diff difficulty in training employees people here they feel under underpaid and overwhelmed with tasks so in order for you to break the ice you must coach them you must train them you must give as much as value as possible so as you can see over here the nine building blocks are working in harmony you have the right side where you treat the customer you have the left side where you, turn, where you take care of the internal business and when this is set up the next step is to start taking action on how you're gonna make this come true and it is as simple as it looks guys there are no secret only a burning feeling in your heart to take action and do what you really love you know I've been doing this already since 2008 I've been showing entrepreneurs all over the world how simple it is to actually put their plan into practice as long as you're doing what you love all the rest will come along so remember this guys thank you for watching if you have any questions please come to our website meetpb.com like our Facebook page Pedro's home based business and you'll find all this over there and much more thank you for watching and stay tuned for more bye bye